Ladies and gents, welcome Wasmatic here. Welcome back to another gloriously sunny day on Alioth. And in front of us, you can see uh, the Heavy Falcon, which is finally built. Thank you very much to Gadget Infinite for the blueprints. He's the designer. If you'd like a copy, I'm sure he can um, facilitate you if you're in the Empire or sell you this uh, heavy hauler if you're not. Apologies for that ping in the background. Um, so today we're going to look at how to stop you crashing into a planet when you're in space and you want to go and land. Uh, I've seen a few people on the stream who have this problem where they come in too fast and they um, they basically just smash into the into the surface of the planet. I'm not naming any names, Bacon, Jonesy, Billy. Uh, so anyway, the first thing we're going to do is look at a little tool that will help you understand when to start braking. Not many people have seen this one. I, I, a lot of people who come to the stream don't seem to know it exists. And it's a braking calculator for use only when you're in space. And you can find it at dual.sh forward slash brake. Just so happens, I have it open here. So that's it. I'm going to very quickly just remove all of these figures and I'm going to explain to you how you can populate this. Very important, populate this before you leave the planet. Make sure that you know where you're going. You can assume some figures and change them in flight, but have this browser window open. If you're not familiar with space flight, particularly, and you're a first timer, or you're really just trying to, to avoid smashing into the planet, this is the one for you. So look at the ship that you're going to fly in, in this case, the Heavy Falcon, and go into build mode. There we go, into build mode, right. So um, I'm going to just close this window for a second. So there's a couple of couple of key figures that we need to know and when you're in build mode press tab and bring up your mouse cursor first things first we need to look here and in this construct information you're looking for this figure which is the mass this is the resting mass so this is the mass um, before it started traveling now I know that this needs some more fuel and um, I'm going to go and put some fuel in the, this is generally a 218 ton um, ship so there is already something in the storage container inside it I think it's x1 yes whatever um, sneaky hatch underneath okay there we go uh, so there's fuel in there being stored and if I refuel the space fuel there you go. That one. This does use a lot of fuel. Okay, and I'm going to put the rest in here as spare fuel. And we go back into build mode. What we'll see now is that the mass will have changed. It's 245 tons. So if you're tr if you're traveling and you're going to take cargo with you, always take the mass of the ship before you take off, and take into account all the players that might be traveling with you along with their inventory. If you, for example, if you are traveling and you uh, you check your inventory down here, if you have more than twenty tons, anything above twenty tons will count towards the mass of the ship as well. So um, always factor in yourself in this calculation. So you have that number. Okay, so we go back to the braking calculator and we know that the resting mass is, what did we say it was? Forgotten already, it's old age. The resting mass is 245 tons. That's with the, with the fuel. So we're in tons, 245. Okay, so go. Right, there's one more important thing you need to do before we start to get into any more information. Press tab. Go to this cog at the end here, click on this, and you, this will default to G's for units of force. You want to switch that to use it with the space brake calculator to Newtons. That's it, everything else stays the same. Close that. Right, the next thing we need to look at is the, um, the initial speed and the ending speed, which you will know when you're in space. But for example, I always take the ending speed to be 2,000 kilometers per hour because generally you want to be at that speed when you hit the atmosphere. 
Now different planets have different atmospheres, so you also need to factor that in. So some planets, for example, have 50 kilometers high atmosphere and others have four kilometers. So um, know, know that before you go as well. It come, comes back to the adage of planning. You make sure you know where you're going, what the atmosphere is like, how long it's going to take you to get there, etc., etc., etc. Okay, so now what we need is the retro rockets. There's a braking power here. This is what you need to know. And for this, you go into, I think it's the Space Flight Engineer. This one, a little picture of Saturn, and your brake force. Right, your brake force will be presented in mega newtons, million newtons. So to get that into something you can work with in the braking calculator, just take three noughts off. The retro rocket will be 10,800. That's your braking force. We're going to ignore these two for now, because we'll talk through those later, but effectively, these are mechanics by which you can create some additional braking by spinning the ship round 180 degrees, facing away from where you're traveling to, and basically whacking on the uh, the engines to try and give you some extra braking force. Okay, and then the, the initial speed that you have here, if you're traveling long distances, it could be 29,999. So assuming that you're going to brake and not have to use an emergency braking or do any retro braking, save some fuel, this is everything you need to know. And you click calculate, and that will tell you that at 29,999 kilometers per hour, to end at 2,000 kilometers an hour in the mass of your ship being at 245, you basically need to spend four minutes and 43 seconds braking, and you need to start that braking at 7.79 SU, 15, uh, 1,559 kilometers away from where you're looking to get to. Remember, factor in the atmosphere on the planet. The other thing that you can do, if I'm taking a trip, which I'm going to show in a minute, a trip to Sanctuary, okay, normally I won't reach more than about 15,000. Very rare cases, I'll reach 19,000 depending on the ship. So always factor that in. So whilst you're flying, have this browser open on your computer and then make sure that if you do, for example, if you're traveling at 10,000, 10,000, just keep changing the numbers so you have a very good and make sure that you plan this far in advance. Now, if you do get into stuck and you need to use this engine thrust, I will now very quickly show you how to get a rough ballpark idea of how to use that. Some people use this just to brake if they're not bothered about fuel or if they're in a PVP area and they want to come in quickly, brake and get into the atmosphere, they would use it. So here's what we go. Here's where we go. So the engine thrust. Again, uh, we're going to the Space Engineer's Report, which is this one here, and your max thrust is 5.62 mega newtons or million newtons, okay? And that comes from uh, there's a whole bunch of brakes. Where's the element report? There. So that comes from all these space engines. There's a medium, a medium, a medium, a medium, and a large. And that's very important, and I will show you why in a second. So you have your thrust, 5.62 mega newtons, okay? back to the calculator and that is 5620 engine thrust okay 562 I remember take three noughts off to put it into kilonewtons okie dokie and your t50 now this is where you, you can find this information from I use the crafting calculator to find it so if I put in space engine Okay, and I'm looking at, so we've got lots of mediums and one large, and here's the thing, you click on the large, it will tell you that the warm-up time here, effectively T50, 16 seconds, roughly. It's a half-life figure, and I won't go into the technical details of it because I don't fully understand them myself, but this is the figure that I use. But then you have medium, I have more medium space engines on this ship, and they only take four seconds to warm up. So I would generally take the four and the 16 and come at a very, finger in the air figure. I'm sure you could calculate one if you wanted to that was an average or a median, but I just basically come up and say something like, let's say 10 seconds or eight seconds maybe. If you want to err on the side of caution, you could put 16 in for the large, but you're going to have, so let's say 10 seconds. Okay. Now, if you spin the ship round and you reverse thrust and you, yeah, that's the warm up time for the engines there. So that 0.43 has now dropped to 0.33. So let's say for example, you're coming in hot 29,999 and you don't have engine thrust okay and calculate that's 7.79 SU braking as we had before and then you put in your uh, engine 
times here and that 7.79 with reverse braking can become 5.27 there you go so that's kind of the idea of of using the space brake calculator to make sure that you're slowing down enough so when you re-enter the atmosphere you're not going to burn up you're not going to smash into the surface of the planet and you're not going to destroy your ship now let's have a look at how you use it in flight so here we are in space and we are currently 6.55 SU away from Sanctuary and accelerating hard up to 11,280. So at this point in time, you want to start, oh, let's bring this up again. I would want to start looking at this and saying, okay, I'm getting close to 15,000 at the moment and 12,000, okay. And that's telling me I need to start breaking at 0.6 SU. Now that's because this thing has fairly immense um, brakes on the front there. You can't see it. That's great. Now you can. There we go. So on the front here this thing has fairly monstrous air brakes, uh, uh, space brakes, sorry, retro rockets. And um, so let's say for example that we're traveling and we, we've probably, we've gone too fast and uh, we, we're now under the distance within which we can brake safely. That's when you can say, okay, I'm going to go back to this. I know the engine thrust is 10,800 kilonewtons and it takes, let's say our average of 12 seconds to speed up to there. We know we can do like an emergency spin round braking at 0.37 SU. And by that, just uh, um, what I mean is you just basically turn around on the axis within which you're traveling and you press X three times to get this blue line up. Um, okay, having a few issues. I might be a little bit out of control now. Try that again. I always aim, by the way, I always aim past the planet just in case I get my braking wrong. Um, as you get more and more proficient with space travel, you will be able to sort of judge these distances even better, use the calculator on the fly, know your ship and all of the statistics. But if you're having problems crashing when you try and land, okay, so now I can start to spin the engines up again. As the medium started, as the large started, and I'm now retro braking. So that's going to slow me down a lot quicker. And then if I press the brakes on the front, you'll see that that's going to really, really slow me down. So essentially that's all you need to do. If you have a panic, this is how you do the emergency braking. But otherwise, you just use the calculator and it will tell you exactly when to start braking. Uh, as to how you re-enter, that's uh, the topic topic for another video. But um, there you go, guys. I hope that's been useful um, for all you people who are struggling and crashing into the surface of the planet at 4,000 kilometers an hour. I'm not naming any names, Jonesy or Billy. Then, um, yeah, I hope that's been useful. Uh, don't forget, it's dual.sh forward slash break. Uh, know your ship plan before you leave so you know all the statistics that you need to put into that braking calculator if you're on a long journey headed somewhere um a long distance away in terms of su then you're probably going to hit max speed so uh, you need to make sure sometimes in depending on the ship and the cargo you could be braking 30 minutes before you get to the planet anyway that's it thank you very much for watching i hope that's been useful don't forget to like and subscribe and uh don't forget if you haven't already to enter the competition for a free beta key which finishes this friday and uh, i'll see you in the next one thanks very much bye for now